As you know, there's a presidential election coming up just around the corner, in fact, which can be a very difficult day for the millions of us who just couldn't care less. Well, joining us to help us make it through election 2008 is today now political correspondent Dan Carlisle. Dan, Hi, good to Dan. see you again, see buddy. You How well. you doing? We're doing well, thank you. You got to help us out here, my friend, because all those informed people with their judgmental looks come election mm -hmm. day, I mean, I just don't think I can spend another year dealing with that. Can you help? Absolutely. Luckily, it's actually pretty simple to, to pretend you care about the electoral process. Really? Try something like this. Invite some friends over for dinner, mm -hmm. have the news on when they show up, then apologize as you turn off the TV and say, I promise I won't talk about politics tonight. Okay. I like that. Very All direct right. yet very simple. Mm -hmm. But what if they ask you, you know, are you a de uh, dem uh, Democrat, Democrat mm -hmm. or uh, oh. uh, the other one? Right. Mm -hmm. Don't panic. Just use one of these political non-opinions I brought. Okay. Oh, I see. All right. I like mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. Seems easy yeah. enough. Yeah. It's very easy. Yeah. Here's another simple thing to do. Talk about how sad it is that some people refuse to get involved in politics. Right. Blaming others for being uninformed is always a great way of seeming informed yourself. Yeah, no, I like that. But what if they corner you on one of these, uh, like, political issues, like, well, uh, health care? Yeah. Oh, hold yeah. on, my phone's vibrating. Oh, oh okay, no. well. I apologize. Well, well, hey. no. Okay, and I've got you. See what happened there? That's a phone fake out. Oh, it wasn't you really were vibrating. Oh. Use you that, that to get out. out of a political question that's just too difficult to answer. Uh -huh. Well, now that's great for these coming weeks, but Dan, what about Election Day? First step, go to our website. All right, yeah. We have a great tool there which allows you to print out an I Voted sticker. So during work, you go act like you voted, you come back, you wear the sticker. Right, and questions don't need to be asked anymore because you're right up front with it. It says right there, it says yeah. I voted. <laughs> be sure you come back, though, with a poll anecdote. Yeah. What's a poll anecdote? It's a story or observation that you come back after you're done fake voting. You wouldn't believe it, they had my last name misspelled at the polling station. Oh, Something like that. Okay. You see how that was specific, but not so specific that someone could check it yeah. out? Right, yeah. right. So uh, I ended up in line right behind my old college roommate works. The roof caved in doesn't. But what if, despite all that, they still just don't believe that you went to the mm. polls that day? You got to up the ante again, Jim. Yeah. Here. Scroll a quick child's drawing on a piece of paper, something like this here. You can use marker, crayon, or craypaw, nothing too sophisticated. Then, say to your voting friend, I pulled this off the wall at the elementary school. I couldn't I resist. It was just it. so cute. Oh, that is, you did this yourself? Yes, yeah. I made this one. Well, now, after all you've told us, there is no excuse to not not vote. Yes, yes, absolutely. Every single person out there can take part in pretending to take part in the political process. <sighs> Dan, I'm we so got to have you back in November because we will not know what to say about who won. Yeah. I'll be here. I'm not going to say a word till I've talked to you. <laughs> That's smart. <laughs> all right, Dan, thanks a lot. Thanks, Dan. And when we come back, three-time Grammy Award winner, Shenandrana.